All right, for the last week, I think I've been reading about this, and I think that the World Health Organization is looking at that. I definitely saw and read about, I saw videos a couple of years back and read about that in like China and Japan. There were some teenage boys that were like gaining a lot of weight, spending a lot of time on their gaming uh, PC or whatever, or just playing video games so long that they would be put in some kind of like camp or rehabilitation center to actually get them away from the computer. But I just thought, you know, ah, that's just a thing, you know, it's just a few people or a few that's happening to them. Maybe that's just a problem that they're having in, in some places, but that's not going to be some worldwide quote unquote disease. But seems like that's what's going to happen. They're going to label uh, gaming addiction as a mental disorder. World Health Organization said to classify gaming disorder as a mental health issue. I, I, I was reading this a few days ago um, on Google News. You know how you can just go there and if you have um, customized which stories that you want to see and which ones you want to block out. For me, it's um, media, uh, business, uh, health, gaming, YouTube, stuff like that. I read every day. So, yeah, let's, let's, let's check it out and see what they're going to say about it. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Let's refresh that. But gaming disorder could become a diagnosed mental health condition in 2018. I asked local doctors and gamers where you should draw the line for your health. Moses Weefer is considered to be the second best in the area at Super Smash Brothers 4 something the MSUM senior is modest about. I feel like it's all up in the air. To stay sharp, he has to practice at least 20 hours a week, sometimes six hours in the same day. Yeah, a good six hours. I mean, if I have nothing going on today. This much time behind the reins of a controller has doctors concerned. The World Health Organization is set to classify gaming disorder as a mental health condition for 2018. Therapists at Sanford say this could be diagnosed to someone who plays every day for 12 months straight, but there needs to be other symptoms too. Gaming is too much if it's going to start to interfere with your family, social life, schooling, sleep, hygiene, that kind of a thing. She believes this new classification won't change the game for standard medicine. Instead, she says it targets medical centers specifically dealing with video game problems. I think the hope through the World Health Organization is that they would be able to allow for the gaming disorder to be a billable diagnosis. Her main concerns with video games are negatively affecting sleep and social lives. Moses says games have made him more social. For tournaments, I go to places in Minneapolis. I go to places in the Grand Forks, uh, Bismarck, uh, Minot. Those opportunities to travel, I like them. I would say video games may be actually more, sh more social, like especially Compared to myself in high school, yes. When they're not being used to hold up his projector, he says he still makes time for the school books uh, and yeah. dance groups. You still have lose your job after it. Like, you haven't been to work in three days or something like that because you've just been in the house all day. Then, like, that's a all another issue by itself. A spokesman for the World Health Organization says this new health condition describes what gaming disorder is, but there's no real recommendation for how to treat it. Constru